Hi there. Today let us talk about paired t-test. This test is used to test whether the means of two sets of paired measurements differ. For example, we can compare the initial and final measurements of the marked trochus. Another example could be related people measured once, for example, older versus younger identical twins. Here we have data on the pH or level of hydrogen ion concentration from nine ponds during dawn and dusk. A descriptive analysis of the data revealed a mean difference of 0.190, a standard deviation of the difference, which is 0.129, and a mean standard error of the difference, which is 0.043. Please take note of these data, especially the mean difference 0.190 and standard deviation of the difference, which is 0.043, as we will be using these when computing the confidence limits. Our first step in solving the problem is formulating the null and alternative hypotheses. Our null hypothesis can be stated as follows. The mean pond pH difference at dawn and dusk is not different from zero. Alternatively, the ponds have the same pH at dawn and dusk. Our alternative hypothesis should be non-directional because the problem asked if the ponds have different pH during dawn and dusk. In this instance, we can state our alternative hypothesis in this manner. The mean pond pH difference at dawn and at dusk is not equal to zero. Please remember non-directional hypothesis requires a two-tail test. Step 2. Let us set the level of significance, which is 5%. Step 3. Let us compute the degrees of freedom. Considering that 9 ponds were involved. Degrees of freedom equals 9 minus 1, so our degrees of freedom equals 8. Step 4. Obtain the critical value of T from the student's T distribution table. In this case, we use a two-tail test, hence our T critical value equals 2.3060. Step 5. Let us carry out the computation using the Microsoft Excel built-in statistical functions. This is our data on the pH level in 9 ponds at dawn and dusk. We shall click data, then select data analysis, and choose t-test, paired two samples for means. Click OK. Then let us select the inputs for the first variable, in this case, let us choose the pH at dawn. And for the second variable, let us select the pH at dusk. Let us put 0 as our hypothesized mean difference, tick labels, and set 0.05 as our level of significance. Let us define the output range, this time, I want the output to be placed near our table. Then, let us click OK. So this is now the output, we have plenty of data here, let us first check the mean pH at dawn and dusk. Here we can see that the mean pH at dawn and dusk were 5.36 and 5.55, respectively. Also, our degree of freedom here is 8. Also, the t-critical two-tail value is 2.3060. These values are the same as our previous calculations. We are interested in the t-statistic value in this table, which is minus 4.4042. All we need to do is get its absolute value which is 4.4042. This value means that the difference is 4.4042 standard error away from zero. Step 7. Compare the absolute value of t-statistics with t-critical value. In this case, the absolute value of t-statistics which is 4.404 is greater than the t-critical 2.3060. Step 8 is to make a decision. In this instance, we shall reject the null hypothesis and accept the alternative hypothesis. Therefore, there is a significant difference between the pH of ponds during dawn and dusk. Alternatively, the difference between the pond pH during dawn and dusk is not equal to zero. If we look back at our table, we mean that there is a significant difference between the pH of ponds during dawn and dusk. Alternatively, the difference between the pond pH during dawn and dusk is not equal to zero. Step 9, or the last step, let's compute the confidence limits. The confidence limit equals the mean difference plus minus t critical multiplied by the mean standard error of the difference. By substituting the formula, we found that the confidence limit is between 0.09 and 0.29, suggesting that the pH at dusk will be between 0.09 and 0.29 higher than the pH at dawn. Now try to solve this problem using a paired t test. That's all for now, please do not forget to like and subscribe to keep you posted on our latest upload.